Greetings, my name is Kim Walsu. I am a visa specialist with 20 years of valuable experience in the field of immigration. Many foreign students who have completed their studies in Korea and are currently staying on a DTM visa express a desire to switch to an E7 visa. I have received numerous requests for E7 visa conversion, but in reality, there have not been as many cases eligible for the E7 visa conversion. With the introduction of the E7SV visa system last year in 2023, a considerable number of students switched to the E7 visa. However, since the visa policy suddenly changed, there have been no approved cases starting from the second half of the year. However, there was information suggesting that a new policy announcement regarding the E7 visa would be made around May 2024. And finally, on May 1st, the Ministry of Justice released a press release titled Pilot Operation of Foreign Labour Introduction in the Aircraft Manufacturing Industry, providing details on the upcoming changes. In the press release issued by the Ministry of Justice on May 1st, specific detailed manuals have not been disclosed, which may leave many people curious. I will provide a brief summary by defining and explaining the details in four points. In case you're wondering, the code name for this E7 visa revision is E73. The initial requirement is for students who have finished their education in Korea. This comprises of students with bachelor's, master's and doctoral degrees, but solely those from 20 specified countries are qualified even if they acquired their degrees in Korea. Therefore, please remember that if you do not belong to one of the 20 departments, you will be excluded from the E73 visa policy this time. In the second condition, there is a possibility of obtaining an E7 visa overseas and entering the country. If you have obtained 20 or more master's degrees from overseas, you can apply for an E7 visa to work in Korea without any work experience requirements. However, individuals with 20 or more bachelor's degrees must have at least one year of experience in the relevant field. Furthermore, individuals who possess a bachelor's degree or higher in a specialized field and have more than five years of experience in that field might meet the requirements for domestic employment under an E7 visa. Thirdly, regarding the Korean language proficiency test requirement, it has been decided that international students who have completed their studies in Korea do not need to meet the Korean language proficiency requirement, while foreign workers entering with an E7 visa from overseas are not required to have Korean proficiency from the beginning, but must acquire at least level one of Korean within one year of entering the country. The fourth condition is a minor one. It stipulates that the previous year's per capita gross national income, GNI, should be at least 80%, which would amount to approximately 2.85 million won in monthly salary. As the request from the company to introduce personnel has been ongoing since earlier this year, Please be aware that immediate employment and a change to the 27 visa category are both possible if you submit your application now. We kindly request you to visit our office and complete the necessary paperwork for further processing. Finally, the required documents for domestic students studying abroad are a resume, a copy of the university degree certificate, passport, alien registration card and passport photos. Please prepare these documents accordingly. For those of you who are currently watching my YouTube videos, kindly ensure to set up notifications to receive new information quickly. I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and click the like button. That's all for today's video. Thank you very much for your support.